Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we get down and do reviews. We have family affair times. We have nothing but talk time over here. We're going to be breaking out a new video, a must-see video on the housewives, that is. The last taping, the wrapping up, the creme de la creme, everything's a wrap, and they're getting ready to show us what they did for season 12. Well, we get this salacious story from Celebrity Insider, and the author of this particular article was Ricky Mathers. Go check her out at Celebrity Insider, where I get most of my entertainment news from. But so we won't tarry too long, we're going to get into this article. It's titled, Real Housewives of Atlanta Filming Raps, NeNe Leaks on the Outs with Kenya Moore and Cynthia Bailey while reunited with Candy Burris and Portia Williams. Okay, so what Nene saying? She got two on her side. Like, I got five on it. <laughs> and she getting her double mint twins to come be on her side. Well, the last time I checked, Candy Burris was rooting for Kenya Moore to come back to the show. So we're going to have to throw her over there. And Portia Williams, yeah, she had her bad times with Kenya Moore. But hell, they don't start having babysitting and baby dates and play dates uh, with the lovely Kenya Moore. So I don't think you can really count Portia to be on your side either. She may be neutral. <laughs> but if push came to shove, she jumping on Kenya Moore's side. So technically, only people you got on your side would be Marlo Hampton. And she's not even a peach holder. She's a friend of the show. So I don't know, Nene. I think you're going to be standing along again. But you like those odds. You like being the underdog. But enough of that, miss. Let's get on into the article itself. Okay? It says the Real Housewives of Atlanta is wrapping up its 12th season. After a few trips, fights, and makeups, this installment is set to be its biggest one in quite some time. With the return of Kenya Moore, Bravo execs are set on giving viewers what they want. However, as welcoming as some cast members were, Kenya was ousted by others. I wonder who those others are. Because if we think about it, who could she possibly be fighting with? We have Eva Marcel, but she's not giving us too much for as drama as she was pregnant at this time when they were doing the filming. So she could only really sit back and watch half the time and make little uh, digs here and there, okay? Because we don't want to fight with no pregnant woman when the baby's on board, all right? But anyway, going back, it says, since the season began filming, Nene Leakes has made it abundantly clear that she did not want more anywhere near her. Of course, because that's her arch nemesis. That is her mini-me in training. And she's looking at her as someone who wants to take the throne before she's done with it. Okay, I got it. It's good. Wasn't in this article, but it could have been, but it wouldn't. So we're going to get back to the article. Okay, it said um, <sighs> the two had gotten into multiple verbal altercations. And some sources say that one turned physical. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, Kenya and Nini's relationship is still on bad terms, according to Radar Online. Nini thinks Kenya is lying about her relationship with Mark Daly. Hey, that's no surprise, but yet we're going back to the article. They are not talking, and they're probably going to have a huge fight at the reunion. The words on the street, or how they say the word on the street, is that Cynthia Bailey has been backing her bestie, Kenya, more which has made the glee alarm Angry and feeling abandoned by Cynthia for the second time in a row. Okay, and probably a third time, fourth time, fifth time. If her fiance, soon to be husband, uh, might um, heal, has anything to do with it. That's my pun intended, not in this article. Okay, but going over to Nini's uh, Instagram uh, feed, and I'm sure she'll have some news for you to follow that you probably, eh, probably can use. All right. Anyway, coming back to the article, it says, Meanwhile, Nene's friendship with Portia Williams is back on track after the incident in which Leaks was said to get physical with Williams while she was pregnant. Y'all remember that she said somebody snatched a belt from her or from around her. She couldn't really feel or see who did it, but she had some uh, ideas of who might have done it. Okay, and maybe it was some backhanded stuff, but with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they have rules and regulations, Okay. 
Now, it wouldn't have been nice if she pushed Portia down or made Portia fall because I'm sure legal or legality situations would have been taking place regardless of what they may have signed upon renewing their contracts. But it is certain things you cannot do that's undisputed. You can't uh, present no lawsuits. Nothing ain't going to be handled in no court of law, okay? That's what you signed for. So if hands had to get placed on, I'm sure it would have been somebody there to uh, pick you up and, and, and hold you down, similar to what they did when Portia and um, Kenya got into it. Because, you know, Kenya, I'll buy a million dollars. She'll get you, get you, get you, blame, uh, run you dry in your bank account and everything else. But see, she really couldn't do anything, anything about it because they had this contractual agreement. You don't get me or you don't believe me? Go to my uh, archives and look up. I think her name is, uh, she's a housewife too, her and her husband, uh, the New Jersey chick. I think her name is Geis or Goose. Goody. She's an Italian woman, I think. I don't know, but y'all know who I'm talking about. She put. Who Gudas? What's her first name? Teresa Gudas. Y'all remember her husband is being uh um somewhat deported out the country for some affiliation he did of some illegal infringement. Okay, but y'all go check that out and it give you the whole list of why and how, when, and what you could do if you're becoming a housewife alumni. Okay. All right, we're moving on from there. It said, although the actress denies that she ever put hands on Portia, the two found common ground and are on good terms. I bet they are. They want to stay a part of the Bravo family franchise. They better kiss and make up. Kiss and make up. That's the deal. Believe it, Bill. Okay. Uh, then the insider went on to reveal Nene and Portia had made up. They had to come to Jesus talk, and they are in a much better place. Don't lose the Lord name in vain. They don't need to use the Lord name in vain. Cause he ain't in this chaos. He's all about a peace, peace breaking uh, ceremonies, pay harmonious peace, not foolish foolishness and fuckery. No. Okay, but going back to the article, it said Nene really doesn't have a problem with Portia anymore. She has made up with her after the closet incident. Okay, I guess you want to call it closet gate, hashtag. <laughs> That's my pun intended, not included in this article. Getting back to the article, it said another another mended bridge was between Kenya Burris and Leaks, who disagreed last season about the decision to have Kenya at Cynthia's lunch party. The lady spoke earlier on and put their issues to rest. Yes, that's the time where she felt mean Nene <coughs> that Candy had conspired with Cynthia along with Kenya to uh, crash Cynthia's uh, Sigram's coming out party where she had this new beverage that uh, was being made and, and submitted to Sigram's uh, catalog, uh, uh, what do you call it, catalog of uh, cooler drinks or beer like tasting drinks. Um, the peach bellini was awful. It was horrible. I couldn't stand it. Well, maybe somebody else liked it uh, and, and it was pleasing to their palate, but it was too salty for me. So, you know, those who like it, cool. I'm one of the ones that didn't like it. All right. It just wasn't, uh, it was just, it should have been more sweeter than what it was tasting like. Okay. But, uh, moving on from there, they just, Nene felt all of them was conspired against her and that she should have had a personal invitation to the guest list so she could say, oh, I'm going to come or oh, I'm not going to come. <laughs> but with Kenya showing up, twirling and showing out, Tornado made a blast up and now she'll recognize everybody on the floor besides Nene. She paid her dust like she was a ghost and she couldn't be seen. Okay. Anyway, moving from there, it says even Marcel is also a peach holder. And it said that she brought a significant amount of drama to the show as well, all while pregnant. Okay, they probably didn't want to get into her ass that bad because she was pregnant and she was big as a balloon. Beautiful. Done had, uh, what, two major ch or two children um, prior to the one she just gave birth to. I think his name was Maverick. Cute little something. But, uh, yeah, I don't think they wanted to get up into a, pr a pregnant, uh, pregnant woman's behind too much. They didn't want to, like, give her false labor, pains, Braxton Hicks, uh, Bra what is it, Braxton Hicks, uh, contractions are enough. If you never had them as a, a pregnant female, you were blessed. Okay, they're 10 times as worse, the real contractions. So if you couldn't handle 
Braxton Hicks uh, contractions, kind of tell them to put you on the <laughs> coma induce you until you have the baby, then bring you back. All right. But anyway, um, it's asking at the finale, what do you think about the spoilers for the upcoming season? The ending of Mrs. Burger's uh, article they read on the filming taping uh, or the ending taping of season 12. Well, I don't know. I told y'all what I feel. It's going to be a hot mess. It's going to be very good entertainment for uh, far as maybe the four episodes that they break out season 12. Then it's going to go in a lax period. Then it's going to pick back up towards <coughs> excuse me, the end of the season on into the reunion. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the odds being split because Kenya did this little rant uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, saying that everybody's pretty much on her side. She said uh, Cynthia's definitely on her side and the, uh, what do you call it, the paparazzi of the TMZ for Atlanta, they asked her, you know, some more questions and they was talking about Eva Marcel. She said, I don't know, Eva on my side. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, Kenya, I don't know she on your side, okay? She's too fresh in, in the wound, okay? She's just been, uh, just had given birth, so her ideal thoughts could have been a little bit misplaced. What you construed as her being on your team could have just been her uh, having some lax time and she couldn't get it together on who team she wanted to be on. She just wanted to make havoc on each side. She wasn't paying neither one of y'all. She wasn't paying none of y'all. No, uh, She wasn't paying y'all dust, pretty much. She was giving y'all dust because she was pregnant. Y'all probably thought she was just all willy-nilly because of, you know, almost postpartum or, or post-pregnancy, you know, uh, coming on for her. So, I don't know. She's an iffy situation. Because, like I said, she was pregnant, getting ready to drop the baby. In her mind, everything probably was just, ooh, like an explosion up there. She didn't give a shit as long as she gave enough to secure her spot for season 13. Okay? So, she had to finish season 12. But, personally, I think she's going to be going from Atlanta if she gets her contract uh, not how she wants it. And they put it somewhere else. She'll be making more money hanging out with Ricky Smiley show out in Dallas or Houston or wherever it's going. Okay, taking over Tom Joyner's fly drop uh, morning show. <laughs> so, yeah. But time will tell with that. I'm thinking she's going to be leaving. I could be wrong. You know, that I could be right. We never know until that time comes for 2020. We'll see who will be out there with Ricky Smiley come January 2nd. I do believe is when his uh, debut starts on his new morning show. Okay, but that's all I had. Get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. Put y'all feedback down. Get in them comments. Interact with one another. And you know, I'm just be flying over y'all, seeing what I want to see. But I'm going to give every last one of y'all a little heart, a heart at heart. Yes, I am. But okay, I'll see y'all next video. Oh, but let me tell you, continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's get me to that 10,000 mark. Okay, we can do it. We don't come this far together. We can take it on home. Okay, remember, I need to make it before June 2020. All right. <laughs> okay, good night.